morning. Good morning, everybody. What's good? It's your man's. Did you miss me? I am back in action. Feeling good today. On my way to a doctor's appointment. Got to get uh. Got to get an exam done. But um. No more procedures on the horizon. No more hospital visits planned. Hopefully I'm all good after today. Needless to say, it's been a stressful past few months. Uh, a lot of you have followed my mini journey. The ups and downs. And, uh, and I'm still here. And thank you all for uh, being so patient. <clears throat> because I know y'all are going through some things as well. So, you know, we all do. That's life. And uh, my biggest thing is that I'm grateful for every day. That's what gets me through. No matter what's happening, I'm always grateful and thankful every morning when I open my eyes, no matter where I'm at. And a lot of people uh, have been inboxing me, asking me, how do, I, how do I stay so positive about everything? It's not hard. It really isn't hard. Um, as I said before, it just takes too much energy to be depressed and upset about things. So I, I choose not to be. I choose to be happy every day. Um, because no matter what, you know, we have to get through the day. We, we, we start out in the mornings, hopefully, you know, if, if we all wake up. And we have to make decisions minute by minute, hour by hour, to get through the day, and hopefully make it till that next sunrise, so uh, for me, it's, it's not even, it's not even an effort, you know, to, to feel good, you know, and, and to, you know, remain focused and positive on, on just life. You know, life is hard. It really is. Um, the cost of living is out of control. Um, I mean, there's just all types of crises going on all around the world. I, I just don't worry about any of that stuff anymore. I learned a long time ago that no matter what we do, the world is going to keep turning and things are going to keep moving with or without us, you know. Probably the world would be a lot better without us. And when I say us, I mean humans. Something that I realized is that everything that's fucked up in the world has one common denominator. Humans. So I'm just trying to be a better human. I try to stay out of people's way. I try to mind my own business. And focus on uh, my own direction. That's all I can do. I can't tell you how to live your life. I can't tell you what you should be doing or what you should not be doing. I can give suggestions if you ask me, but if you don't ask me, I'm not telling. I just share my everyday experiences, you know, randomly, and then, um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, if there's something in my experience that helps you along the way, that's awesome. We all have a lot to learn from each other. One 
of my biggest forms of entertainment now is just watching people. I love watching people. Uh, when I'm out and about, I'm just amazed at what people do that I never really noticed before. Um, it's it's crazy how how so different we are, but so alike we are. If that makes sense, that didn't sound right. Did it? We have way more in common than not. And I think I think a lot of times, you know, most people get so caught up in themselves that they don't realize that everybody else is going through the same damn thing. Everybody's dealing with high prices and inflation. Everybody's dealing with this disrespectful heat. Everybody's dealing with other idiot people on a daily basis. Sometimes we're the idiot ourselves. And we just don't really think about the fact that we're all in this together. We really are. I've been watching a lot of videos lately uh, about the homeless in America. We shouldn't have homeless people in this country. We really shouldn't. There are so many vacant properties in this country. Way more vacant properties than there are homeless people. Um, I know some of you may have seen the post I put up a few days ago uh, regarding the expense that it would take to end homelessness in this country. They estimate about $20 billion. And to date, we've given over $51 billion to just Ukraine in their war effort against the Russians. We've given billions and billions and billions more to all these other countries in so-called foreign aid. But we can't take care of home. Isn't, isn't that... It, what's wrong with that picture? Think about that. This country will spend billions of dollars all around the world. But won't spend the dime here at home trying to solve our problems here. One thing I learned about a lot of homeless people. Is that the vast majority of them are homeless because of job loss. In fact, only about 9% are on the streets because of drugs and alcohol. But every time, you know, we see people out here on the streets, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is, oh, that person's a bum. Uh, why don't they go get a job? this, that, or the other. And it's not that simple. It really isn't. And if you're going to be honest with yourselves, you're probably one or two paychecks away from being on the streets. I know a lot of my friends and associates who fake the funk every day living way beyond their means, trying to keep up appearances, trying to make it look like 
their lives are all butter and they're really not. Just knock it off. Knock it off. I had one friend of mine tell me recently he could never be homeless. He would never be homeless. He makes too much money. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of former multimillionaires on the streets because they thought at one time they were making too much money to ever be in that situation. And they ended up in that situation. You know, karma is a bitch. She will bite your ass if you give her a reason to. So I don't think it can't happen to you. Because the minute you start getting complacent like that, or you start getting, you start letting your ego uh, have you thinking that you're invincible, that you're untouchable, that you can't fall, you will fall. You will fall, and then you will find out who really has your back. Then you will find out how important you are to others. And I bet some of you would be, be in for a very, very rude awakening. I bet a lot of you out there would be quite surprised to find out that a lot of people don't give a fuck about you. You know, as long as you're up, it, they love you to death when they can get something from you. But when you're down, they don't want to fuck with you. And that's a damn shame. Think about that, y'all. Think about it. Think about it as you go through your daily lives. How important are you really to those around you? Be a blessing to everybody because you never know where your blessings are coming from. I'm your man's Ken Jackson. This is my experience. I'm out. I love you all. See you next time.